Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is a mid-month reading session for you Gemini. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. Okay. This reading for today is for the Gemini friends out there. Thank you Gemini for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. This is for you Gemini, alright? What can I get for Gemini please? What is the message that is meant for you to know, ready for you to know? This is for you, Gemini, all right? Let's see what's coming towards you. This is the mid-month reading for you. I will pick up a love message and general situationship message for you, Gemini. And let's start your reading, okay? You've got a queen of wands in reverse. A page of cups in a bright position and you've got a knight of swords. Um... I really feel like for some of you, I'm getting a vice versa energy in here, you know, reciprocated energy where it's possible that you have sent someone a message, you have sent someone an apology, and I feel like if, if you follow up, you'll get a reply or respond. You know, the, the, the person is queen of wands in reverse. They are playing hard to get and the page of cups i feel like your person is still i feel like this is a love reading you know this is applicable for a gemini where you were the last one who messaged them okay and yeah i feel like at one point you need to follow up i'm not encouraging you but i feel like there would be there would be an instances that you would have to follow up most especially if this is your ex and you've got some kids or finance or property to talk about, maybe divorce or something. But you were the last one who messaged. I feel like your message is a bit romantic. Um, you're still hoping that you would somehow connect, reconnect romantically. Now this person has not responded to you. You are going to get some respond, reply to them for some reason if you follow up. You know, Page of Cups, Knight of Swords. I feel like they're playing hard to get. You know, for some of you, this person is kind of, I'd say the word vindicative. They're a bit vindicative. Um, yeah, hangman. Like, a follow-up will make this person reply, respond. Like, if you follow up, you know, within within the next five minutes, you will get a respond or a reply. Um, just be cautious that they respond, the, re the reply. They will, they will respond or they will reply to a follow-up. And, you know, Knight of Swords is going to be a fast approaching follow-up. Sorry, you're going to follow up or you are you have already sent a follow-up. But I'm getting like a message will come to you if you follow up. And they'll respond, they reply to a Knight of Swords. So it's, it's quite quick, fast approaching. And it will break the ice. It will break the ice or it will break the silence between the two of you. There's something that you need to talk about this person. Yeah, Ten of Swords. If this person comes back to you and they're still upset with you, it means they love you. They still love you. They still have feelings for you, but upset, okay? If this person is still hang over with how you break up, how you separated, or how you hurt one another, or how you disappointed one another, because I'm, I'm getting like a vice versa energy, it means that they still have a thing for you. Ten of Swords in reverse. There's still a lot to go on between the two of you. It could be some sort of temporary no show no talking but it will pick up again i tell you it will pick up again it's not over it's not over till they say it's over yeah yes this is a, this is an ex energy okay and I, I feel like this person is younger than you and um okay next reading is you've got the strength card in reverse you've got the queen of swords in reverse and you've got the king of wands in reverse queen and king Yeah, I really feel like there's going to be a follow-up in the next two, three weeks for you. In the next two, three weeks, um, there's going to be a follow-up. Um, the follow-up, the message, the respond, the reply, it's going to be quick. It might appear to be sarcastic. This is still a continuation because Ten of Swords in reverse the strength card. I'm still picking up the same energy. It is a bit sarcastic, more sarcastic coming from your person, coming from your ex where you're saying, okay, now you need me. Okay, now you want it. So be very patient with the situation itself. There is a lot 
you've you've been through a lot with your person and with your situation with this ex so it's better to just take it slow they they it's 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 an upfront reminder that you might get a sarcastic sarcasm in the rep, rep, respond reply be a better person like be a bigger person and i feel like they would step down with they will provoke you to kind of you know they're, they're they're provoking you to somehow let, let's pick a fight you know to to get th to get out those feelings uh, but don't go there because i feel like queen of king of wands in reverse it you if you become more diplomatic if you become the bigger person it they will feel kind of embarrassed or they will feel somehow guilty that they're you know they're being sarcastic and you're just really wanting something from them okay um most especially if you're calling or texting or asking this person with something important because they're kind of thinking that maybe you're just inventing story to get them to reply to respond and then their sarcasm or sarcastic energy came along and you did not bite you you did not take a bait of their you know provoking text message you just reply diplomatically or respectfully and they feel bad and i feel like they're gonna say sorry for for acting like that for reacting like that okay i'm still picking up an x yeah page of wands like it's a good news because you were not you did not give this person a chance like it was yeah i'm getting like sarcasm in here your person and you did not reply respond on the sarcasm just something that provokes you to be upset um they you know page of wands it will be in your favor okay you're gonna you're gonna get more respected or some sort of you're gonna get an apology from them by being the bigger person you know page of wands page of cups good news good news for you going there to the higher you know like allowing the high vibe to to flow in this very heated very mixed up feelings okay next reading all right you've got a death card in reverse could be dealing with a scorpio cancer and pisces two of cups okay i feel like it's another relationship reading in here it could be an ex it could be someone you dated it could also be a very close acquaintance at work you know like you've got a work husband or a wife husband or you've got this close buddy you're very like you know you're you're like really bestie in terms of your work okay you will compete seven of cups that there will come a point that your closest person will compete you will apply for the same position and you and this person will start hiding information you and your person will compete they know they know your style you know their style and you're about to compete I'm getting in here that this is just business and it's not personal because you're close to this person. Ace of Wands, it will create or maybe it has already created some sort of issue. This is a situation if it's not a if it's not at work, it could be you're dating someone and you're applying for the same job. But there's an element of romantic in here and there's an element in here that you're close together but you've got to compete. You've got to apply for the same job. You there's an element that you'd have to compete with a person that you like or a person that you like or you love something like that you know and it's gonna create some sort of a issue between the two of you like it's gonna create a chip like it's gonna create some some struggle between your relationship but you know this is meant to be it's gonna test your relationship with this person and i see you guys being back together again I feel like one of you, Eight of Wands, will have to leave. I feel like if they got the job, you will eventually explore outside. And you will realize that you you also get a job. You'll, both of you will get something. The other one will feel the rejection. And it's going to be awkward in the beginning. But the other person will be able to move on because they're also going to get something outside of the company. So you will end up being bestie again or being friends again. This time around, you are you are sharing information with the company and they're sharing information with something external. So it's happily ever after. Okay. 
Yeah, Trio Panda because I feel like you're struggling right now. There's some sort of struggle right now. You're about to get a struggle. But, you know, Queen of Cups, the love that you have with one another, it's going to win. There's still a happy ever, ever after with your relationship with a colleague, with a best friend. It could be a lover turn into your boss or it could be a lover turn into the same. There's a competition and a lover's energy in here. Queen of Cups. I feel like it's going to get more interesting in the future between your, you and this person, your partnership. Because you're going to build your own, I don't know, brand, your own career in a different... You, you won't compete anymore because you're going to separate company. Something like that. Okay. So this is your reading. Thank you so much, Gemini, for coming back. Thanks for tuning in. This is your mid-month reading. I hope you like it. I hope you've connected with me. I will see you soon again, guys. Bye-bye.